The Animal Crossing Hard Mode Adventure continues. Today, we're doing some villager hunting, which I'm pretty excited about because I don't have my full roster of villagers yet. We have a handful, and I'm going to tell you about, you know, some of the stuff and things that have happened um, while we've been away. You've missed some things. You've missed some stuff. In fact, why don't we jump into that right now? I want you guys to be caught up on all the things you missed in Canyon Duck. That's right. Breaking news. Breaking Canyon Duck news. There are a lot of things going on right now in the Canyon of Duck. So, what you missed while we've been away. We had... Uh, we had people shopping. You know, people were looking at some of the designs. We had Red come in and sell us a, uh, a painting. A new campsite villager approaches. And Timmy and Tommy are, uh, you know, scamming with the bells. In fact, uh, that says, I know you can't see it right now. That says 137 bells per turnip. We, we didn't sell, and I'll tell you why, at 11. Chow was the campsite villager. Yep, it was Chow. Uh, and as you know, based on the hard mode rules, uh, I have to take Chow. I can't say no. So Chow now lives on the island, and um, I'm okay with it. Um, oh, yeah, he kept passing, too. He's like, nah, nah, nah. I, I had to play, like, seven chance games with him. I kept losing, and finally I was like, I'll, fine, fine, I'll just come over. Um, so Chow moved in. This was my thumbnail photo. Uh, I got the sorrow reaction. Sherb seemed pretty happy about it. I saw Frank sitting down. He looked kind of sad. And uh, then, get this, Sky is moving away. Sky is moving away from Canyon Duck. I didn't even get a chance to try to befriend her, get her photo. Sky is gone, or will be gone tomorrow. Sky's packing up, saying goodbye. It's a load of garbage. Sky just got here. I just got here. And I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy at all. So that's that's everything that's everything you missed. Uh, you know. It's been it's been a bad time, guys, okay? It's not been it's not been great. Hey, my muffin for 9 months. Thank you. What we're doing today though, is some villager hunting. That's what we're doing. Uh, we are going to try to get some new folks here to live uh, to live in Canyon Duck. Uh, as I said, the roster is growing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two more people to fill it out, right? Ten villagers. So we got to buy two plots, and we got to move some folks in. Um, so yeah, we we have currently how many how many miles? 24,000 miles. So not quite enough for two full 10 ticket hunts. So we can't be too picky, but I think we can have some fun filling out the uh, the roster a little bit. Are you allowed to use amiibo card in the roost? I believe so. I think you can use amiibo cards for the purposes of like collecting posters and, and doing happy home, but you can't use them to move people who you want into your island that's that is prohibited um let me check my fund is i think i'm broke we might have to go sell some things real quick but we need to we need to buy a couple plots which are ten thousand each so uh, i did a little bit of prep today but all i did was the dailies i didn't really do prep for this part <laughs> you get to hang out with me for this part um let's go to the abd okay i have 1600 in savings <laughs> I was hoping it would be more if there was anything in here, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. How's it going, Mimu and Rebecca? Certainly has colorful villagers. Yeah, for posters, I believe you can. You just can't sell them to other people in the market. Um, watch, always watching the stream. First time catching a live. Excited to be here. Uh, Welsh Fifi, thank you for being here. Let's make some money. I'm going to see what the hot item of the day is. I need to know 
what this item is, and we need to take advantage right away. Stone table. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, I've had worse. I, I think we can make stone table work. How many villagers are you looking for today? I believe I'm looking for two villagers. I would love to get more villagers than two. <laughs> I, there, I, there's a couple people I'd love to trade out, but two it is. Uh, stone tables. Okay, I don't want to use all my stone. I'm going to use two stacks of it, and then I'm also going to see if we can make any... Let's see. Snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. Okay, I'm going to see about this, the uh, ice furniture, because that always makes us a lot of money. Any preference on villager? You know what? I'd be happy if we got at least one duck. I would love that. Otherwise, I cannot be too picky. You, you're only allowed to use 10 tickets per villager hunt. So in, in total, we could use 20 tickets today. And I don't want to use that many because the points are hard to come by. So yeah, I, I'm hoping we can just get a couple of decent villagers early on in each villager hunt and call it good. To hear steal an iceberg. No, I'm sorry. I meant, well, I don't know what I said, but I'm trying to make ice furniture. I used my gold to craft a King Tut mask. Worth it. I had so much fun falling over in front of villagers. <laughs> wow. That is a bold investment for hard mode. You know, you think you'd want to make some kind of golden seat or something, but it's the King Tut mask. The most, most destructive gold item you could get, but that sounds fun. Why does the membership link not work? It should work. Um, if the membership link isn't working, you can hit the join button. If that's if, if you're talking about the one in the, the description, it should be working. Um, it could also be, depending on what country you live in, membership purchasing might not be available in your specific area. So there's a couple different reasons that might be happening. All right, I'm going to make a frozen arch, maybe two of them, and then see what else I can make. Do you want my gold? I don't use it. No, no. Keep your gold. I feel I, I feel wrong just grabbing stuff for free from other people, even if they're playing hard mode. And AJ's cheating anyway, so I definitely don't want to take any gold from you. Because you're a cheater. I know you're using treasure islands. Your recording software just happens to be off when you go, but I think that's what you're doing. Let's see. Uh, okay, we can afford some of these. Your house is a mess. It's terrible. I have no storage. I upgraded my house again. I upgraded my house a third time. I got a second room, basically, attached to my main room. And I was so excited. And then I filled my storage immediately. Like, the day I got it. I was so annoyed. You, you, you caught me. I told you that in confidence. Well, you can't trust me. I My mouth does not stop. I just keep talking and talking. I have to. When you when you live stream, you can't. You're not supposed to shut up. So I just gotta. I gotta spill all the the, the tea. Otherwise, I'll run out of things to say. So you know, don't trust me with your secrets, anybody. It just goes for anybody. Um, what was I doing? See, that's the other problem too. I when you talk too much. Oh, I was I was gonna customize my tools because my last. Nook Mile times two goal of the day is customizing my anything. So I'm going to just kind of refresh some tools here. Let's do that. I was going to invite you to my market. It's fine. I'll go cry to Brewster. <laughs> if I go to your market, I'll just be buying items you cheated in. I can't. I'm not allowed to go. Did I celebrate Sure Herb's birthday? I did. I did. I didn't uh, actually didn't get to those photos. I'm sorry. Um, I I did. I meant to show more photos, but I don't think I went too far back into the timeline. Uh, I did Sherb's birthday, and so hopefully he doesn't leave because I would like to get his photo. That would be great. But there is a chance he goes before we get it, and we have to be okay with that. Your little brother caught a cold and gave it to you. I'm sorry to hear that. That is not fun. That is why. You should not have gone and, uh, you know, gotten a little brother. That's what I did. I don't have a cold. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, okay, let's see. I think that was all the customization I'm going to do. 
make any new duck shirts. I'm glad you asked. I did make a new duck shirt. Uh, I forgot to I forgot to go ahead and put that on because we are about a week. Uh, we're into our second week now. I think we have to change our shirt. So um, I will show you. Ready for the reveal? Da, 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 da. It is duck yells at cloud. Let me get in there. There it is. Look how look how excited he is about the cloud. Duck yells at cloud. And there's nothing on the back. Yep. <laughs> Honey Ghoul put a duck in a cloud and it looked like a duck just farted in the in the way those emojis lined up. Duck farts in the chat, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna lean into it. Um, perfect 80 year old man shirt. <laughs> I'll take it. Um Oh no. Uh, can the ducks eat clouds? There it is. Yes. <laughs> Next week, duck farts. Oh my gosh. Well, we already ruined chat. This is another thing. Speaking of clothing, I need to do this still today, but I haven't yet. So uh, remind me. Don't let me. Don't let me not do this before the end of the stream. Um, reminds me of Untitled Goose. Yeah, that was a good game. Care Bear, how's it going? All right, are you guys ready for some villager hunting? I'm ready. We gotta buy the tickets first, though. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. So, okay, they're gonna be 2,000 apiece. So I'm gonna redeem these, and uh, you know, it's time. It's time to get ready for hunting for villagers, preferably ducks. Fail. <laughs> Dan, Dan, you're so funny every time you talk. You really quack me up. I'm already doing hard mode. Is that not hard enough? He started a new island. The people named it Canyon Duck. Really seems like he's trying. Collecting a whole bunch of stuff. These puns, they have him crying. I mean, they are just really rough. And he's been doing hard mode. He thought he had it hard enough. Peekaboo, a duck's favorite game. Uh, Canyon Duck is the island's name. So many puns, it's unbelievable. Brace yourself, but tell me how you're feeling though. I had to throw in a rap verse like a Drake. Let me know when you're done, I can wait. Let me guess how many more puns Dan can take. No, please. Let me keep going, don't waddle away. What language does a duck speak? Portuguese, how does a duck surf the internet with web feet? Hey, that's foul. But what else could it be? We're all flocking to the canyon that refuse to see. Will the duck cross a road? He's been crossing for a minute. I quack myself up. I promise we're almost finished. It's just pun after pun. I know you're all singing it. Would you believe me if I said I was winging it? Okay, that's a good yeah. one. He started a new I'm still buying tickets. They're not done. They're not done selling me tickets yet. You guys like the song? Well, Composer Cleo is linked down below. Definitely, definitely click on Composer Cleo's name. Go subscribe. And, uh, you know, maybe consider becoming a member over there. If you have uh, any money under your couch cushions or anything like that, just go ahead and, and super thanks or super chat it over to Cleo. We need to we need to support composer Cleo so we get more music. <laughs> I 
If I ever get a PhD, I'll be a quack doctor. That's true, actually. Original Matt, thank you for joining the Billionaires Club. We also got a super a minute ago. Um, it had a question for me. I don't want to miss this. Uh, your thoughts on scanning Amiibos for DIYs only, asks Amanda. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I think... I never considered that. I think that's not a great idea. Like, it, I don't feel like that's in the spirit of hard mode. Um, I feel that way because... Like, Sanrio cards are one thing, because you, you can't get those villagers any other way. As long as you don't sell the items you get from their from the catalog to your friends, that was even, like, said on the Discord, I think. That's fine to do. But tr just trying to stockpile DIYs, I think that's just... That, that kind of cuts into the experience, in my opinion. But that's just me. Like, no one's, no one's the hard mode police. Uh, if you don't feel the same way, then, yeah, I don't see why not. I think the biggest thing about hard mode is whatever you choose to do that might go against the rules a little bit, I think the respectful thing to do is make sure, if you're going to participate in villager markets, that you try and stick to the economy rules as best you can. Because the economy rules... Oh, yeah, I was going to sell all this stuff, right? Um, the economy rules are uh, the things that, like keep everything honest you know i have a couple of poolside beds i was going to put out today i just want to see is there anything else before we start selling everything i have to keep the fossils because i have no room in my storage i might now actually but yeah whatever pets sit on stream play however you want as long as you don't exploit the rules invite anyone you want to your island do what you want i retire from questions I, I would totally understand that because uh, <laughs> the rules leave a lot open to interpretation and we are all kind of looking to, to make sure we're just playing it the quote-unquote right way. But it's a made-up game mode at the end of the day. It really is. I just think if you're going to do markets, you should make sure you're not doing things that would spoil it for someone else. Like I am one of those people that if, if you tell me, okay, the rules are you can only buy a few things, like you can only sell 10 items, right? then I only want to sell 10 items. I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm playing in line with that experience. Um, and I wouldn't want someone to give me a stack of 30 gold nuggets that they got off of a treasure island because if they didn't earn those legitimately and they're kind of giving them to me on a huge discount, like then I don't feel like I earned them, you know? Okay, that's going to cover us right there. That was a good, that was a good uh, amount of money. We got seven tickets. Hopefully we can keep good track of this. Um, have I heard of Harvest Festival 64? It's a horror remake of Animal Crossing. I have not heard of that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there's, there's no, there's no one coming after you if you don't play it the right way. It's just a, it's a matter of like interpreting the rules and respecting the way other people want to play. Do I have a beard in real life? I don't know. Define beard. I'm going to keep five tickets on me. I'm going to try to limit this hunt to five tickets. Just because I'm, I'm poor on miles. YouTube pushed me the video where you toured my island. <laughs> That's because YouTube is real smart. I'm a duck in real life. It's true. Um, you're doing your first ever bug off. It's so fun getting so much cute stuff. Oh, you've never, you've never like done like the legit bug off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't wait for the first bug off for uh, this hemisphere. It's gonna be awesome. I want to fly and we're going to use a Nook Miles ticket. The villager hunt begins now. Who are we hunting for? I'll take any duck villager. Even Quilson. I don't care. I just want a duck villager. That's all I want. Duck vibes. Yes. That's what we need right now. Let's do it. Ducks. 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 Gotta be careful when you chant the word ducks. You chant too fast. It could sound like another word. I don't want that. That's not what I'm trying to do. Oh. It's really dark and snowy here. Let's see. Drake, Bill, Joey, whatever. Yeah, whatever we get. <gasps> I didn't sell a plot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to buy a plot of land. We've made all that money for nothing. 
<sighs> okay. I also have the wrong version of the song queued up in my soundboard. I just noticed that was the lyric version. It's not supposed to be that version. I messed up earlier, I guess. Log bench recipe. It's fine. We will we will just thrash this island for a bit. We'll take out our anger and aggression on the local island life. I'm not going to chop down everything because I want to get on with this villager hunt, but uh, I'll, I'll chop at a couple things. Oh, what's this? Pot rack. And one of you has bees in it. Okay. I'll chop these down and I'm done. Phase Gaming and War. How's it going? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hello to everybody. I restarted my island. My villagers are going to be Agnes, Dom, Lily, Poppy, Judy, Sid, Sherb, Sasha, Apple, and Raymond. Like, you're hoping that's what you get at random, or you've you've decided this and you're going to use amiibos or something? Either way, good luck. All right. I'm just grabbing some supplies here. Since we're since we're here by accident, might as well grab some supplies. I got to go grab another ticket too because I said I was going to use 5 tickets for the hunt and I've just wasted one. Which doesn't feel good. Saw the live stream and decided to say hi. Well, Smitty, how's it going? Welcome. Thanks for being here. We're uh we're off to a bad start. We're trying to do a villager hunt and I forgot to sell a plot of land. So there's nobody here. <laughs> so just me over here being bad at Animal Crossing. Welcome welcome back to Guy is Bad at Animal Crossing. I'm your host, Dan. You might be wondering which episode is this. But I don't know. Not only am I bad at Animal Crossing, I'm also bad at counting. So let's call it episode 12. In today's episode, Wasting Nook Miles. <sighs> Birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday. Guy that keeps quacking up. <laughs> I really quacked this one up, guys. What is this? What I am, I am low on Nook Miles. Okay, 150. I'll take it. My own personal sabotage league. Argo, how's it going? All right, I'm going to replenish the ticket, and then I'm going to buy a plot of land. Ugh, it's been so hard to keep up with Nook Miles. I'm kind of glad we're almost done. We have almost a full roster of villagers on the island because, yeah, I'm just having to buy these Nook Miles for these hunts is very, um, well, it, it makes it makes me really anxious. A whole stream dedicated to grinding for miles. With this mode, we'll we'll probably have to do that at some point. Infrastructure. Land. Hopefully find a good spot for it on the beach. A delicious hostess snack. That sounds good. A goose chase. It does feel that way. It does feel like we're going on a wild goose chase. Am I nervous to design my own paths? I usually lean very heavily on Nintendo's paths because I like them. I, I like how solid they are. I like that you can't accidentally kick them up. However, oh, this was from earlier. Um, however, I do think I'm going to try. I, I've, I've gotten some tutorials. AJ sent me some stuff, and I've also found some videos on YouTube that kind of walk you through it. If I'm going to do paths, I just want them to look good. You know, I don't... I, like, the people who design these things are... Ge hey. Well, what's this? Guys. 
That's a nice branch. Do you, do you see how good this looks? Oh my gosh. Hey, um, you come here often? We're uh, we're gonna go hunt for some for some ducks if you want. No? Are you sure? Are you sure? It's just a few. It's a short. Yeah, it's a short villager hunt. You will? Oh boy. Perfect. Guys, the nice branch agreed to come with us on the villager hunt for ducks. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, okay. Why was it coming over here? Oh, we were going to look for a spot for this house. And I think it's right here. Dang it. Ugh. I knew these beaches would give us trouble. Maybe... Maybe this one, but I doubt it. Nope. <sighs> okay. I'm going to move some coconut trees up here, and then I'll put them on the south beach. <laughs> the ick. Okay, yeah, uh, we need, let's see, we need to eat some pears. Why the beach? I'm putting the houses on the beach because I want to uh, have kind of a clean slate when we go to decorate the island for real. So I'm just, I'm just trying to get everybody out of my dang way. That's, that's really what I'm trying to do. Let's see. Uh, house. Build here. I think we can get one space closer to Able Sisters. And then probably back as well, right there. I really want to I really want to cram them in here. This is it. Perfect. And we'll have one more that probably needs to go. I'm hoping I could just put it right here, which means I'd only have to get rid of maybe this tree. But this area looks really narrow, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. Let's let's travel back to the other end of the island here and put these trees down. Yeah, this will be good. These beaches over here are narrow. I feel like I had way more room in my previous island if I wanted to put beaches or houses on the beach. Plant. I have a feeling with this island, when I finally do go to decorate everything, the beaches will like not be decorated. <laughs> I'm not a big beach decorator. Okay. Crybaby just subbed. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right. I think we're ready to head out for our first actual villager hunt here. Who did we invite? No one yet. <laughs> we, uh, we are going on our very first tour now. I got five tickets. We can use up to 10 per hunt. I'm trying to just limit it to five to save up on miles because we got to do two of these today. So we'll see what we, we see what we get. We'll see what we get. We're not going to be too picky. I want a duck, but I'll settle for someone awesome as well. I thought you could plant coconut trees on grass since 2.0. I don't think you can, but maybe. Maybe there's something I'm, I'm missing. Um, coconut trees, though, if you want to plant them on the grass, you can just put down one one tile of sand and they can plant on, the, on anywhere. Um... You can only put down one plot a day. I don't think that's true, but maybe. If that's the case, then we'll do one villager hunt. But I thought you could do as many as you had money for. 
I think only one villager moves in per day, though. So you can place down all ten plots, but they're only going to build one house at a time. If I think maybe that's the way it works. Serious Trash became a billionaire. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Welcome back to the Billionaires Club. Enjoy your emotes. By the way, emote updates are coming soon. Are you serious? I got a money island? This is the second one I've got on hard mode. Guys, unbelievable. You know, when I look across this pond and I see the rocks in that formation, I just... Ah. Uh, it's a beautiful sight. It really is. It's Bob? Are you freaking kidding me right now? I'm visiting the island today. You're Dan from Canyon Duck. That's really cool. The island's neat. Let's have some fun together while we're both here. I got Bob on the first ticket. I can't, be I can't believe that. I mean, look, everyone's freaking out. You guys see something like this on the first ticket, you're thinking like... Me too. Should I? I should take him, right? All right, I'll take him. All right, Bob. Shut up and move to my island. Yay! I'll call Mr. Nook. He'll set up everything. Today's the best day I've found t since I found out what p Paschetti was. That's adorable. We got Bob. Two cats. Two cats on Canyon Duck. Unbelievable. And we got a money island. So not only did we get Bob, we got paid. Amazing. Okay. How are we going to do this? I think... Yeah, we'll just smash this rock. You got a lucky branch. Introduce Bob, <laughs> Introduce Bob to your best friend. I... I don't know... I don't want to just, like, use the nice branch that way. Who am I kidding? She'll love it. You nearly poked him. It is a nice branch, though. You can't look at that branch and tell me other... Are you serious? We got a mole cricket? Are we going to catch it? No, it's gone. I've never just dug up a mole cricket like that. Money Rock Island! Eggs, how's it going? We just got Bob and a Money Rock Island on the same ticket. Life is good. First ticket, Bob achieved. Now we're going to try to place down another plot and see if uh, <laughs> if our villager hunt is over and we got to go on to the next thing. I do have more plans if we can't hunt for any more villagers. Boom. This is amazing. You meant the stick part? Oh, well, I found a recipe for a branch, but not just any branch. A nice branch. It's it's literally called nice branch. I don't know why. It looks like, you know, to, to the average onlooker a branch but not to me mm -mm. it's a nice br nice branch do you have any beef with villagers just just chatter back in the day you know but you know what chatter was gold cordan's problem and gold cordan is dead so i don't know maybe if i run into chatter we can start things off a little more positively. 
Or, I mean, retired. Gold Coordinate is retired. Not, not, de not dead. Guys, that would be dark. Mm -mm. I mean, does he exist anymore? No. Um, will he ever come back? No. But is he dead? No! He's retired. A gold car farm upstate. And meanwhile, I'm here to collect all the riches. Look at this. Sometimes I can still hear Gold Core Dan's voice. <laughs> he exists in our dreams. That is true. That is literally true. Um, I think these rocks are only full of other rocks. So if I eat a pear right now and I smash one, I don't think money comes out. Let's let's just try it real quick. Yeah, it is just rocks. So that's not really worth our time. Uh, but I will stack up these bells. He's gonna go. He's gone to his timeshare in the Bahamas. <laughs> he's gone to sell timeshares in the Bahamas. He's actually in suburban Illinois selling timeshares for the Bahamas. All right. Uh, did we find a recipe on this island? Do we know if there's one? I don't know. I think I found one on one of the islands. I just things have been happening so quickly. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so Bob's moving to the island. Let's head back and see if Tom Nook will indeed not sell us a plot. I'll be really disappointed if we can't. I remember being able to buy them all at once, but I could very easily misremember that. If you put down another plot, there will not be a villager on Nook Island. Really? Are you sure? I could have sworn I've done this before. I remember looking for multiple villagers in one day. Huh. Yeah, we'll do LaBelle for sure. We'll, we will do the dress up for LaBelle thing. I thought it was two a day. I didn't think there was a limit. Where's this limit coming from? Why does everyone think there's some kind of limit on this? I'm just going to find out for myself, because I'm, I'm convinced I can just do as many of these as I want until all the plots are bought. But it could be an autofill. 100% will not be a villager. I, it's making me want to roll the dice, because I remember a time where I tried this, and I was able to get multiple villagers in one day. But then again, we did we did on the Goldcore Island some, some things and some stuff, and I might have been, like, I think at the time I was time traveling to keep the plots opened. Oh, jeez. It's so confusing. All right. Let's just try it anyway. I want to learn the hard way. That's how That's how I am. Sell some land. So prep some land for a future home. He'll still sell me the land. Okay. Sure. My autofill was Quilson. Maybe we'll get lucky too. Okay. Quilson isn't really a lucky autofill. <laughs> I would like Quilson in the sense that I want a duck, but that's the duck I want the least. Let's just put it that way. Maybe all of my autofills are ducks right now. I need to save Nook Miles anyway, so if this is an autofill situation, I'm actually fine with it because I have not enough miles to do a 10 ticket villager hunt. And Bob, I mean, come on, we can't really top that. I don't think we could try all 10 tickets today. I don't think we top Bob. Okay, that's one too close, which means it probably can't go here because it's going to be too close to the water. Yeah. Crud. Quilson's in your campsite? That's awesome. I'm... I wish I had a duck in my campsite right now. <laughs> Xena, how's it going? All right, so we are, uh, most of you seem to be in agreement that I'm not going to be able to fill this plot via villager hunt. And I'm telling you that's probably true. 
I, I, the more of you that say that, I have less reason to doubt it, and it's fine. But I'm going to try anyway. Because this is about having fun. And I'm also ready to move on to the next thing if we're done villager hunting. So, this is the spot. Boom! So for hard mode, can other people doing hard mode come to your island and sell turnips if your price was high? Just a hypothetical question since I've watched several streams. Uh, hey, Jen. So, the only thing, like, with turnips, you can buy turnips on Sundays from other people during market day, but you're not allowed to sell turnips on someone else's island. So... It, it makes turnips way more risky if you're going to be participating in the stock market. Um, I did. I bought turnips and my price today, I'm going to show you guys, we're going to do a little bit of a turnip selling montage in a little bit. And uh, you're going to see, and I'm going to see, because I don't know, uh, the price I got earlier this week was 137 which was much higher than I bought for, and I turned them down. I'm going to show you why I turned them down. And uh, we're hopefully going to still profit. Um, fly. Yeah. With a Nook Miles ticket. What about the coconut trees? Uh, I guess they're just going to fill my pockets for now. <laughs> Makes sense for things for the answer? Yeah, no problem. Dan may not be wise, but he's definitely stubborn. Thanks, Kate. It's true. I am stubborn. Hope you get a rare villager. <laughs> All right. Is anybody here? Hello? There's no campfire. No one's here. Okay, we are alone. Okay. Well, we tried. We got Bob, though. Guys. We got Bob. Told you so. That's okay. I wanted to try anyway. I remember doing this once. And seeing multiple villagers in one day, and grabbing multiple villagers in one day, but I'm probably remembering the time we did this with, like, the brand new Gold Core Island, we had Coco, and we, okay, I'll settle for Coco. I probably bought a plot and then skipped a day. That's probably how I did it. But I'm not doing any more time traveling. You know what we can do, though, is if the plot is not auto-filled by tomorrow, which it might be, um, we can go look again. At least we know now. Yes. Post, post camps that you can only get one per day. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe I was thinking about the uh, initial three plots. Hmm. That's true. Um, okay. No problem. I am not mad at all. So let me put down these coconut trees. But we're going to do some inventory management because I'd like to work on selling some turnips. You saved me from doing the same thing. See? I didn't mind making that sacrifice for the rest of you. It was 2,000 Nook Miles completely wasted, but that was for science. We did it for science. Science is about sacrifices. And and other people getting to say, I told you so. That's what it's about. No place to plant. Come on. Okay, we planted a tree. I think we can put one right next to this uh, little cliff area right here. Let's see. Yep. There's one nice thing about coconut trees, you can put it right up against this edge if you want to, which not a lot of <laughs> not a lot of trees in Animal Crossing will let you place them in that in that way. So I do appreciate that I can do that. Uh, maybe it should go right here. I'll always serve as a terrible warning. Uh, you sound like my parents now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Balloon! What do you have inside? Let's see. What is it? Present, 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 present. A bathrobe! Sorry. It's just a bathrobe. Oh, yeah, we got the Aurora. Look at that. We got the Northern Lights. That's pretty nice. That's one nice thing about playing at night. I don't like playing at night on streams, but I have to sometimes. I do like that we got the Aurora. Put it on? I can't. I gotta wear custom design shirts. You know what I will do, though? I'll throw it in the trash. 
what if what if LaBelle wants us to wear something we would wear like to the shower or something? Maybe I won't throw it in the trash just yet. Just in case. Okay. What? Word is you've been pumping up the island for a KK Slider show. KK songs are the best. I play them during cardio, on my jogs, when I'm trying to fall asleep, all the time. What I'm saying is KK is kind of the secret to my swoleness. Thanks to... So thanks for helping bring him here. And speaking of both swoleness and thanks, this is for you. I thought you might want something heavy to help you with your endurance training. Oh, and also the KK thing. KK will come if we... Uh, show enough candy duck spirit. So go flex your cone. What? Did you just give me a traffic cone? Hang on. How big is this thing? What's going on? <sighs> okay. This is not how you greet someone to the island. This is the opposite. This is a traffic cone. Traffic cones are for keeping people out of places. Not inviting them to places. Boot him off the island. I want to. He's one of my starters. One of my first two. And I want to boot him. I do. And I will. But first I got to get his photo. This is... I'm working on Rory's photo right now. Flex your cone for Rory. <laughs> for the VIP lounge for KK. Place it and stand behind it so it looks like you're wearing it. <laughs> Stop it. Um, I was just jealous. Anyway, uh, we have to. We have a bunch of things to do. I'm getting very distracted. So let me go. Let me go bank my money here. Please to tune in after working all day. Lilac, welcome back. Welcome back from work. Have I got an ooh la la sound effect? I don't. I just have this. That's it. That's all I have. So anytime, anytime I see something that would call for an ooh la la, that's what I got. Uh, we're just going to deposit. I don't know if I want to use this to pay off my loan yet. Would you all believe me if I told you that that song was also another composer Cleo original? Because it totally is. You read two chapters of your textbook. It's been a productive day. Oh, cool. I could never do that. <laughs> I believe it. I thought so. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do now is just drop crap outside my house because there's no room in there. I even filled up the next room that I got with junk because I have no storage room. I think I can throw away the log bench recipe. I don't think anyone's going to need a log bench recipe. You believe about your gullible? All right. Two chapters is better than no chapters of my A level. I haven't done this week. Let's see if I have room for all of this stuff we gathered. Okay. So I got my three Nook Miles tickets. I can put those away. We think we might maybe need the bathrobe on short notice. I'll put the nice branch here. And now we can grab our turnips. Or wait, should we, maybe let's, hold on. I think I have exactly enough turnips for the tools I'm holding. I don't remember. Okay. Are we allowed to sell other items besides crafted ones to nooks? I feel like I saw a rule about that. Uh, you were only allowed to sell the, crafted items these are the rules um 
I'm just trying to find sell bugs to flick, fish to CJ, weeds to leaf. You can only sell materials and crafted items to nooks. So you are allowed to sell things like piles of logs and stuff. You're extremely heavy fog for the first time, couldn't see anything. I think that's such a cool like feature. I wish it could be foggy all the time in Animal Crossing. Them's the rules. All right, I'm about to take you on my turnip journey for the whole week. Maybe you'll all learn a thing or two about turnips as well. If you're if you're thinking about if you're thinking about playing the stock market in the hard mode, then you're going to want to pay attention to what I went through for my first time buying turnips in hard mode. So before we go out there, I'll show you what's up. All right. So where is it? There. This is my spreadsheet that I'm going to use to keep track of my turnips throughout hard mode. Um, so it started on the 15th and I... My buy price was 98 bells. Can you see this? Let me zoom in a little bit. So 98 bells was the buy price. All right. And then I tracked them throughout the week. And once I knew what my trend was going to be, I wrote it on that day. So Monday I found out it was a small spike. And I'll tell you how I knew that. Because right here is linked the turnipprofit.io website. I recommend using this if you're going to be doing turnip solo like I am. Um, so this is the website and this is how it works. You just fill in the information. So first time buyer, in this case, yes, this affects the first pattern that we're going to see. So I chose yes. And that means we are guaranteed a small spike pattern because your first one is always a small spike. So if you've never bought turnips before ever, click this button to get the accurate information and don't worry too much. You will get a small spike. So Sunday was 98, and then I put the prices that you saw on the spreadsheet all through out here. And this is where we're at right now. So yesterday, on, on my PM, Thursday PM price, it was 137 bells. And I'm like, hey, that's pretty good. And I checked the graph, and it said that my potential, let's see if I get rid of the 109, because that was today's price. One of two things was going to happen. Either it was going to go up to a maximum of 154 or down to a potential minimum of 89. But no matter what, it was going to come back up to the same exact price or better. So I got to a point where I was like, well, there's literally no reason not to hold off then. So 109 was my price today. Um, it popped down here. Not so bad. Not so good. So we are guaranteed 137 now for the rest of the week or higher. So that's how that works. And it goes even deeper, all the different predictions. It could, you know, all different chances for different patterns, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, this is going to become even more relevant next week and the following weeks because once you once this is always a no, the first time buyer, you're going to want to know what your previous week's trend was. It never matters knowing three or four in advance. I just decided to make the spreadsheet really long, but all you ever need to know is your previous week's pattern. You put that here and that determines what next week's is going to be or yeah, the current week. So I just wanted to show you what I was going through. So we're hoping for the maximum of 219 right now, but it could be as low as 137. And either way we come out on top because we only paid 98 bells. So there you go. That's, that's what I've been doing to track the turnips, check them twice a day. Kellen, how's it going? It's a whole thing. How many terms do we have? Yeah, our inventory is almost full. So this should be a pretty good payout right now. Yeah, there's a few different turnip calculator websites. I like that one the most. Um, so that's the one I linked on there. Stonks. It's true. All right, what is the turnip price? 158. All right, so 158, there it is. So we were at 137, I waited and it paid off. 158 is much, much better. 
And turn a profit is saying it could still go up, but it could go down now. If I if I wait till tomorrow morning, instead of selling right now, there's still a chance for me. I didn't realize it was going to do that. I'm glad I scrolled down. So now I'm thinking we don't sell, because now there's no there's no downside. If I wait too late tomorrow, I have to sell in the morning if we do this. I absolutely cannot sell in the PM time, or I very likely could go back down to 137. I'm going to I'm going to roll the dice on this. We're actually not going to sell. I was convinced I was going to. What was the price? 158. All right. Bye. <laughs> Try again, Nooklings. Diamond hands, Dan. <laughs> because, the, again, the worst it could be is 137. But it might be more. And I'm greedy. I don't know if you guys know this. But I'm very greedy. Now I gotta put all this stuff back. I, do, I am planning on streaming tomorrow earlier in the day. I, I was going to do the afternoon, but now I'm going to try and see if I can stream before that so we can all see together how this goes. <laughs> Greedy, you the gold core guy? I know. Golden Hour in Animal Crossing is the best. It really is. I'm trying really hard not to click the eat 10 turnips button. I will be disappointed if I click it. All right, next thing we need to do is, well, I should let's let's dress up for LaBelle so we get that out of the way. And then we're going to check our island score. And my plan is to go ahead and get us to three stars. Hopefully we can do it. I'm going to grab this bathrobe <laughs> just in case. Like, yeah. Dress like you just don't care anymore. Like, perfect. I have just the thing. I'm LaBelle, the fashion designer. I'm not sure if you've heard of me. I mean, I'm only, I've only recently decided to become an independent designer. So you might say I'm still in training. That's why I'm traveling to lots of different places. I want to see and learn as many styles as I can. Um, I call out a specific fashion theme. You change into that outfit that matches. You'll have to model it for me, of course. But I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Sure, why not? Thank you so much. Let's get to it. I'd like you to show me an everyday outfit. You know, something you'd wear on an ordinary day. Try picking out simple yet stylish clothes you can wear for all sorts of occasions. I'll give you some everyday clothing. So we should always get a shirt from this, which is great because we don't really have any shirts. Tight knit sweater, all right? The bathrobe. I guess depending on, on your lifestyle. Uh, all right, let's see, let's try this on. Tight knit sweater. Oh, I've never had this sweater before in the game, I don't think. Huh. All right. So let's grab some new pants and stuff. I assume you can wear non-costume tops just for this task. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like this would be really difficult to pass if you were to refuse to wear, you know, other clothes. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool sweater. I like this. So, I'm going to do, you know what I got today? I got some, I think they're called like ordinary pants or something weird like that. Like uh, casual pants? I don't know. They're back here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just use this. 
Um, oh, jeez. This is my other storage, by the way. There. She doesn't accept custom designs. <laughs> LaBelle hates custom designs. It's in the rules that I have to placate LaBelle. And, you know, Gulliver and all those, all those folks. Why is it so dark? Because I turned the lights off. I don't want anyone to see in there. <laughs> uh, they're called casual pants. I feel like this sweater and these pants actually legitimately look, look, legitimately look really good. And uh, this does constitute, in my mind, as everyday wear. But I'm going to try and change the shoes. Because I don't know if, would lace-up boots count? Would antique boots count? I don't know. Maybe basketball shoes? That feels a little more like every day. Well, no, they're basketball shoes. They're going to be like sporty, right? Um, dang it. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. If you don't know, I, I have a Steam Deck, and I've been playing it a lot. And so I, it's really difficult for me because the A and B buttons get switched around in my brain all the time. Looking like a middle school teacher. So I think I think this is good. Do I have any bags? I don't think these would be good. Um, but I have my beard on. Let's just try this. Let's see if let's see if this is enough. The Converse looking ones, slip-ons. I'm gonna try boots. I think they look better than those shoes did. I'm gonna go with it. Take a look. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's it exactly. Yes. Combination of clothing radiates that perfect everyday look. Just so much I can learn from your sense of style. Thank you. I want to give you something to show you. I appreciate it. How about some Taylor's tickets? Yay. Please take this to a mate with my own paws. A LaBelle hat. I'm using my real name label while LaBelle lives on in my um, fashion label. What? That's confusing. I didn't realize there was a backstory to the label LaBelle debate. Oh, it's this hat. I thought it was the, the baseball cap. You know what? This might be a Sunday market item because this thing's actually like pretty fancy. It's not my kind of hat, but I bet someone would, would wear the crap out of that. Um, okay, cool. So let's go in here. Let's grab Duck Yells at Cloud. And let's head to the trash can. Hello, trash can. I'm here to put more valuables in there. Like this and this. Perfect. Ariana, thank you. Thank you very much. What are Taylor tickets? Oh, yeah. So someone already answered. But yeah, so Taylor tickets are worth 3,000 bells in the Able Sisters store. Um, I tend to just accumulate them in my storage because I never think to get them out of my storage before visiting Able Sisters. Uh, but if you get enough Taylor's tickets, you can go on a whole shopping spree and not spend a dime, which is kind of cool. And I think in hard mode, they'll be a little more valuable. Um, okay. It's like a gift card. <laughs> Uh, any, any other, what are we doing? So, oh, 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 we we're going to check with Isabel on our island rating. And we're going to work towards three stars right now. Yeah, we got to buy something from Abel's every day. So yeah, they will come in handy. And especially early game, there's like so many things that I want to fill my storage with in terms of clothing options. Even without buying shirts, there's still a lot of items I want. How to get KK Slider? You got to get three stars, which is what we're working on right now. Um, we're going to try and get Isabel to give us our three stars. Um, island evaluation. Two stars. Hey, look at that. I believe you can get three without filling out all of your villager plots, right? I keep hearing all things should be in moderation, but this island's image 
This island, but an island's image is worth working hard for, ain't it? Well, me and my bro will be back. We'll be backing you up from behind the scenes, so you better just do your best. Uh, from reading the reports, correctly, people think the island's natural environment has a lot of potential. Let's get more greenery on this island by planting fruit trees and saplings. When it comes to tree variation varieties, we should branch out. Wow. I can't resist low-hanging fruit. Am I seriously getting punned to death by Isabel right now? You got three stars with eight plots. Okay. Oh, did she say something else? Something about keeping it tidy? The shop accepts sometimes bugs and I... Oh, wait. What? Okay, I don't know what the second part was. Let's Let's go plant some trees. I have been chopping down a lot of trees. Now, do the trees need to be spread out? I don't think they do. What what messes could they be talking about? I did I did drop some stuff outside today. So I'm Oh, it's probably yeah, it's probably this stuff too. So it's that and then I did drop some stuff in front of my house. Yeah. Crud. I have no room, guys. There's no room for anything anywhere. Make an orchard? I'm not ready to make an orchard. I don't know where I want anything yet. Oh my goodness. What do I do? We'll figure it out. They're, they, they can't need me to plant that many trees. Place everything. Clutter style. <laughs> Yeah, I should, right? I should just I should sp I should get my market set up so that it actually has stuff on display instead of in item form. That's what I should do. Uh, and I had some poolside beds earlier I was going to place down. Where did those end up? There they are. Okay, let's let's place down our poolside beds. Maybe right here. Seems like a nice spot. Yeah, let's do that. I wish I could put it in my storage because I want to see everything visually and try and make sense of like all the things I have, you know? But that's my storage will not work like that. You know what I can do is I can take these fossils and wrap them and drop them on the ground. That'll free up some space. Wait a minute. Try again. And then we gotta get, get our wrapping paper. Okay. Okay. So the, the wrapped presents are just to try and get photos from villagers. Eventually, I'll need to stop wrapping those fossils, but I need to clear out my storage. Uh, you know how it is. I have four recipes that I was saving for, for anyone who wanted them for Sunday markets. And I think for those, we should probably just go ahead and make those stands that you can put them on, the market stands. Those always look really nice. Do I have any customization kits? I think I do. So let's make two of those. Excuse me, nice branch. Ugh. Thank you. What's Sunday market? Oh, um, well, you get to see the Sunday. Uh, that is the day you are allowed to sell items to other people. You can have up to five visitors on your island throughout the day, and you can visit as many other islands as you want. And uh, it's just a shopping day. So everybody kind of accumulates stuff throughout the week, and then, you know, you know, set up sets up a shop. Yeah, visitors can't see what things are if they're on a table. I know that, but I just I, I'm hoping to make it look nice anyway, and I'll probably only use it for DIYs. 
Let's customize them. Huh. Um. Oh, did I unlock some patterns? I didn't think I unlocked any of these yet. What's that? Those music notes. I'm trying to find a good one for a DIY counter. You know what? That one looks fine. Let's do that. Let's do two of these. Who did we find? Who did we take? We got Bob. I couldn't believe it. We got Bob on our first ticket. It was the shortest villager hunt ever. Are you doing standard market lottery or auction? Explain the lottery to me. How does that work? I would like to do something more interesting than just a standard market, but um, we did the auction last week, and I thought, well, what could we do differently? I have a couple ideas, but they wouldn't really be market-related. They would just be on market day because of some people are visiting, but I'm not ready to share all those yet. Did the DIYs go towards your 10 items? Yes. Yes, they do. What else do I have in here that I can probably get rid of? I have a lot of sticks. Like a lot of sticks. I also have flowers that I'm not really planning on planting anytime soon, but I don't really want to get rid of them because it's hard to hard to get the flowers, you know? Um, what do I have on me? Hand cart? Cone? Pop, isn't the hand cart... Okay. Cone and pot rack. I think the pot rack is... Yeah, that's a wall item. I'm just going to put that right here. <laughs> just get it out of my way for now. Put items on a stall. You can grab... Is what you get. Put items in a stall, whatever you grab is what you get. Is that how the lottery works? Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, our inventory's full. That's okay. I'm going to grab some of the stuff we got from the fishing tournament and put it on the beach. I think the lawnmower and the hose will be good in my front yard. So I'm going to grab those. Wrap the items, put a number on them, spin the wheel. I don't have the wheel though. But I, yeah, that would be cool. I don't even have that many like actual items. Okay. All right, I have some things on me that I know what we'll do with. Why do you have pipes just hanging out in storage? Uh, I don't know. I should put those somewhere, right? Okay, next time we come back to the house, I'll find a place for the pipes that makes sense. Maybe just one side of the island to the other. I just wanted to have them. I, I figured at some point I would like having those. So I'm going to put down these stalls. Oops. And these are going to house our DIYs. Is that centered? I can't tell if these are centered or not. Yeah, they're centered. Okay. Drop. 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 Cool. So that's for the market later, or tomorrow, or Sunday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. 
And we're going to go over here and find somewhere to put down all of CJ's stuff. I'm thinking on and around this dock. So the anchor statue could just kind of go here. It's just a good statue. Or should it go on a rock somewhere? What if we... Uh, it's too far away, though. Let's see. Let's just put it there. Let's put the cooler, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. And then the fish drying rack can go up here. And the fishing rod stand can go here. Nice. Okay, cool. And then the lawnmower and hose reel can go on my uh, on my lawn here. Got me thinking maybe doing a lucky dip one week. I got red and black wheel from balloon. Oh, yeah. See, that'd be cool. I'm going to back this off for a second and then put the hose reel like right over here. I wish this was a different color, but it's fine. Does it look better turned to the side? Oh, I just I really don't know. Isabel's going to love this. She's going to be so excited. Like, oh my gosh, you finally took the game seriously. Okay, let's do that. That looks good. And then a lawnmower. <laughs> Why is there a lawnmower when it's snowing? Listen, don't ask questions. Okay? It matches the house. That's all you need to know. Look at that. We decorated. We did it. On the secret beach. We can definitely put some stuff on the secret beach. Uh, what do we got? You know what I got? I got this sweet oil barrel. We can even use it to craft the oil barrel bathtub if we want to. Um, what is all that? What, what all goes in the oil barrel bathtub, do you think? Hmm. Oops. Because that could be good for the beach. Campfire, oil barrel, and stone. And campfire just sticks, right? Yeah. An anchor statue on for every rock. <laughs> okay, so anchor statue, oil barrel, sticks, rock. Okay. Mow the snow. Craft. All right, and then oil barrel bathtub. Nice branches just chilling. Just hanging out. Uh, and then, should we customize? Should we get some customization kits? I feel like if we're gonna do a lot of crafting, we definitely should just have these on us at all times to see what customization options we have for things. Wait, we can customize the anchor ourselves? I thought this was a, uh, a Harv's Island deal. Let's make it retro. I don't know why Rusty Anchor is retro. I can't believe I never used a gold anchor on Mahalo. Feels like a missed opportunity. Let's do this. The nice branch is helping. Yeah, she is. Okay. Uh, you can customize, I think, all the CJ stuff. I just thought some of it was going to have to go to Harv's Island, but that is not the case. I thought Cyrus was going to have to help us out. Nope. How could I already have 11 gold nuggets? Are you serious? That's so many. That's exciting. I don't think I have a single recipe for him. 
I researched apparently jock villagers give the beehive recipe. Hey, okay. All right, good to know. I'm going to take these pipes. I'm probably going to put them by the secret beach now that we've been talking about it so much. Globe. No, don't need that on the secret beach. You know what we can do is put a plastic canister out there. <laughs> it's kind of shady. Any other junk? Cardboard boxes. I'm going to put the swinging bench in front of my house. I have a third poolside bed. Let's put that out too. This is so many items we're putting outside. I have to get three stars. Okay. I'm just going to put that right there. And we're going to put a poolside bed over here. Oh, Celestia Knight, we'll see you later. Sorry about your headache. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks for helping us moderate. Secret Beach. Here it is. So I'm going to hide the warp pipe like right behind the cliff. Like right back here if possible. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And then let's put the other stuff all over the place. So we'll do an oil barrel bathtub. And we'll take the plastic canister. <laughs> and the anchor statue. Maybe like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. It's a little too close to the fire. Yep. And away we go. Welcome to Not My Problem Island. What's the theme of your island, Nuclear Wasteland? It's, you know, just... For now, it's just kind of like... <laughs> get three stars themed. <laughs> If this is what they're going to give me to choose from, then this is what they're going to get. By the way, did you know that this is an orange tulip? I got my very first homegrown hybrid today. Orange tulip. Canyon duck. <laughs> um, okay, and warp pipe near my house. I'm going to put that behind the house. Congrats. Thank you. I was pretty excited about it. Um, place. There's no room. Try again. Place. No! I wanted to push it. Well, it worked. Oh, I'm up on this cliff. Okay, so I don't think I can push the pipe without accidentally going in the pipe, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but we did it. We, we got the pipe to the secret beach. That was a lot of items I just placed. Let's see. Oh, we wanted to plant trees, though, right? She's not going to give us anything from plants and trees. What do I do? So I already have the fruit trees I want for now. Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. Let's buy some saplings. <laughs> Radioactive ducks. More coconuts. Oh, that would probably count. We could definitely plant some. I have some bamboo as well. I don't know where to, where to put it, but 
I have that. I think I'm going to wait on the bamboo. I'll grab some saplings for just the regular boring trees. It's by five. You should look for Dom. I have Dom on my other island. I am good without Dom here. But I like Dom. We got Bob. I mean, it's going to be hard to top that. Okay, so that's five saplings, and then I'm going to grab the coconuts. I think that's a good idea. We'll make, like, another cluster of coconut trees somewhere. Coconut clusters sound delicious. Is he a bobcat? He's not. Can you get three stars to seven villagers? Correct. Yeah, yes. I was told we could. <laughs> but again, AJ is the one who told us this, and we know that AJ's been cheating the entire time playing hard mode, so can't can't really say for sure. But maybe. I'm hoping. All right, I'm going to place these coconut trees yonder. I think this, I'll keep this area clear and we'll plant them right here. Yeah, right here. So there's a couple. Plant one there. One here. One here. That's like quite a few already. That's a lot. Um, maybe we'll do one more here. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm not doing hard mode. There just aren't many villagers that fit my theme and I want as little as possible. <laughs> yeah, I want more control over, not that, I, I don't mind the way villager hunting works. That's fine. And yeah, there's amiibos and stuff. That's all fine. I would like more control over the size of the population. I would like more than 10 villagers, or I'd like the option of having like less villagers. Which I guess, if you never buy a plot, you can do that. But once you buy the plots, you're done for. Like that land is always up for grabs. So that was a lot of saplings I just placed. I uh, placed and I hope that. Uh, I hope that that placated Isabel with all the other things we did. I'm thinking it might have. <laughs> placed it. We placed it some coconut trees and now we're good. Three stars. Three stars. Come on, guys. We need duck vibes. We placed in some items. Evals. Two stars. Dang it. Positive buzz. People are trying to take notice. It's like when a snow person is built just right. Sure, it's a good thing to... It's a good thing to be well made and feel love, but I don't know what a snow person would get the proper attention here. That's my take anyway. Was that done by a snow person? The island's natural environment has a lot of potential. She still wants me to plant trees. Oh, flowers. Okay. Just imagine this island covered in lovely explosive blooms and sweet aroma. No, I don't like a lot of flowers. You're wrong. Um, and there you have it. Just let me know the next time you like to hear the latest feedback. So all we need now are flowers, apparently. We're not being told to get items, although that report could come back after we plant some flowers. I just said there's flowers that I don't want to plant yet, but suck it up, I guess. I'll just plant some more stupid flowers. The North Beach is explosive. <laughs> She's, like, obsessed with flowers. Okay, fine. You want flowers? You got it.
you got it, Isabel. I got all kinds of flowers. We got roses. We got we got white and yellow. No, we got red and yellow roses. Let's do roses. We bought these from AJ. Let's go ahead and plant them. Bullying Isabel. She's bullying me. I have leaf on Harv's Island. Unlocked them today, so if you want any of those Sunday, let me know. I would love to get some white roses. I'm going to check Nooks to see if they have them. You did group stretches. Coco showed up in her pajamas. <laughs> I love when they do that. It's like you woke them up. Like, hey, we need one more for stretches. Like someone, Rossetti's like knocking all the doors. We need one more for stretches out here. Pansy, Windflower, and Mum. Okay. Sorry I'm late. I showed Chinese food over you. You made the right choice. As long as it's good Chinese food. I'll check what bushes I have as well for you tomorrow. I, I'm not in the market for bushes. Um, I did buy some saplings, but I didn't plant them because I'm like, I just don't know if I really want these right now. But I appreciate the thought. You know why I don't want to plant roses and flowers and stuff? Because I'm going to I'm gonna start terraforming this island, and I don't want this stuff in my way. But I guess this is just what you have to do, you know? So this is where my tulips are, and I'm thinking what we do is find a different place for roses, actually. Where can I put these? Favorite flower? I think the tulips in this game. I think that's, that's the one I like the most. This spot is empty-ish. So what I'm going to do is put down some red roses in a, in a Gromia hybrid pattern, which is basically like just an X. Now I'm going to do the same thing for yellow roses. I'm going to skip a spot. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna mix and match. I'm gonna I'm gonna plant a yellow one here, so we start to crossbreed there. Uh, okay. All right. Did I accidentally plant another red somewhere? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll put a yellow one up here too. What a mess, PC Apple, you're no no problem at all. Uh, appreciate you being here. Sherry, please wash your hands. Leave Sherry alone. Uh, she just likes bananas a whole lot. I love how everyone's forced to do norm core. <laughs> it's great. Uh, okay, that had to be enough. If that wasn't, like, I'm wondering if I need to go to a Nook Miles Island and, like, grab flowers, but I already went to Nook Miles Islands today, so. All right, island evals, right? Yes. Two stars. I've been shipwrecked there a few times, so I consider myself an authority, and I've got ideas. Here's one. I feel like a fellow's rescue party might arrive a bit sooner if that place had more stuff going on. Add some hustle, add some bustle, make your island a port of call that turns heads and drops anchors. Island's natural environment has potential... When you're considering natural beauty, what's the very first thing you think of? Flowers, of course. Spend some time watering the island's flowers, and soon you'll have blooming paradise in your hands. I don't want more flowers. We already have so many flowers. They have to bloom? Are you sure? Because the trees didn't have to bloom or sprout or whatever. She's fine with you know tiny baby saplings why why do the flowers have to bloom plant a hundred i don't want to plant a hundred flowers that's so many you 
You're sure they have to bloom. What do I do? I can't get three stars then. It happened to my first island? Well, this stinks. So I'm like planting these for nothing. I don't understand the logic. You need a minimum of 50 flowers and eight villagers. 50 flowers? That's so many flowers. They don't have to bloom. I just plant a bunch on the beach, three stars easily. What? Do they have to bloom or not? Two words, water them. Well, I can water, I'm just, I'm trying to do it tonight. I'm, that's, I'm just being impatient. Beach flowers never grow either. That's true. So like, I'm wondering, I can't water these because they're like, there's no point in watering these. They're gonna grow no matter what. They have to bloom. See, we're getting, we're getting mixed info. I tried that and it didn't work. Do you mean the planting on the beach thing? Maybe planting on the beach breaks that mechanic? Stop planting flower buds give you 0.1 while full flowers give you one point. Where's all this information coming from? I'm like scratching my head over here like, no way. I don't know where this 0.1 point is coming from. Like what? Is that a real thing? Hold on. Hold on. Players must have planted at least 100 plants and approximately 200 flowers on their island to get three star. That's now that website is always wrong about everything. Yeah, I consulted the wiki. Doesn't it take a day for the rain to change? No, it will change instantly. Yeah, I guess not in the case of flowers. Requires museum, next cranny, ables, 50 fences, approximately 50 crafted pieces of furniture, at least 100 flowers planted, and all weeds be removed. Huh. I'm just on Reddit right now. Bushes count as trees as well. Well, I don't need trees, though. I reset twice, planted 100 on the beach, 50 fences, had a minimum, of, had minimal furniture, three stars. A hundred flowers. I don't even know if, how many I have. I wish I knew how many I had right now. I sent the link on the scoring system. Okay, hold on. This is getting so deep right now. Where's Discord? Discord is updating <laughs> while I'm trying to do something. That's so annoying. Weeds don't matter for star rating. It didn't seem like they did. I thought people were encouraged to kind of use weeds this time around as like decorations. Um, okay. Ways to improve the island rating. Flower sprouts are 0.5 each. So 0.5 points. Flower buds and flower stems are 0.7, and adult flowers are 1. Okay, so it's half a point if I plant regular old flowers. So essentially, the uh, I think Debbie's right. Like, if I just plant, I could just plant all this stuff on a beach somewhere and be done. I was trying to hold on to these because I'm trying to do a thing. Like I'm, I wanted to set up like my flower garden in stages. But yeah, if I plant all these seeds, I'll probably just be done. According to the wiki. Windflower. Tulip. Pie. Let's, let's focus on one more type of flower because I'm just trying not to have all these right now. So I'm going to put the rose bag. You know what? I have one more rose bag. I'll go plant it. But okay. I'm going to buy the windflowers from Nooks. I wanted, like, one of the things I was trying to do was have, like, a farm area. Because this game, not this game, this mode, hard mode, 
is going to depend on making money via like farming. So like cooking is supposed to be like a really good way to make money, right? So I was going to have a nice big farm. And on that farm, aside from cows and ducks, there's also going to be flowers. Flowers, flowers here, flowers, flowers there, you know, here a flower, there a flower, everywhere a flower, flower. And that area is going to be for growing hybrids. But I didn't want to plant all of the different flowers at once. I was going to try and get all the hybrids in stages. Just just to keep it organized. It doesn't have to be that way. What ordinance? Um, yeah, I'll usually do Night Owl. Uh, it just kind of depends on when I'm going to be playing the most, I guess. Okay, five more of these. Pansy, uh, mum. So that's orange windflower, and I already have white windflower. So that's 20 more flowers on an island with already, honestly, quite a lot of flowers. Let's just go ahead and buy 10 more. Okay. Paper game, in-game flower type, soft spot for tulips. That's where I'm at too. Yeah, that's why I went for tulips first for my, my hybrids. But I only planted a couple of them. Like if I really wanted to hit the hybrids hard, which I do, I'd plant way more tulips. And I will. But I'm just not, I, I don't have the space for it right now. Like I'm trying to keep my island clear so that I can, you know, manage my mess while I try and like terraform and, and lay it out the way I want to. I'm shocked you're not three stars yet. Don't rub it in. Okay, so I'm just going to plant them all here. At least we'll get some nook miles for this. Okay. Okay, there's a bunch of white wind flowers. How many is this, do you think? It says I planted 50? Okay. Where's the orange gonna go? Oh, there's a balloon out there. Well, we gotta get that. Can't turn down a balloon. The pink tulips, the purple tulips, yeah, those are really nice. I love them. Very tropical. What do we got? 10,000 bells. I'll take it. I don't know where else I can plant these orange ones on beaches. I guess over here. We'll just surround this tree. Whatever. Okay. Will that be enough flowers? I honestly don't know. Because I don't know how many are in the mountains. I don't know how many are around my house. I mean, what do we have around my house? That's three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 22. So 22 there, and I just planted 20 or 30 more. And then we got all these. Uh, and then uh, whatever's in the mountains. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, I'm just going to try. <laughs> We're just going to see if it's going to be flowers again that I get dinged for or something else. Uh, 
Uh, evals. Three stars! We did it. So it can be flowers that are not sprouting. Okay, cool. Canyon Duck. Man, hearing about how chill it is, I'd go... I'd go if I had the chance. K.S. Well, there you have it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a K.S.? Yes, there it is. Very clear. K.S. And the penmanship is quite striking if I do say so myself. Could it be? Can it be? It must be. That message is from the one and only... KK Slider. What? I can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing our K our island to the attention of K the KK Slider. Not only that, but he's looking for an excuse to visit. Then what are we waiting for? Yes. Yes. Let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike while the iron's hot, they say. Sorry. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with a Mr. KK Sl Slider? Did you just have his phone number this entire time? Are you serious? All this work I'm doing and you could have just called him? You just have the contact? I'm with Nook Inc. located on Canyon Duck. Yes, indeed, we did. We greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. That's actually why I'm calling. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we would be happy to host you and your musical stylings. Yes, quite, I see. Oh my, you mean? Thank you so much. Yes, I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. The entire island will be looking forward to it. Thank you again. Yes, yes, talk to you soon. Why didn't you call him sooner? I know. So what did he say? He'll do the concert. That's right. KK Slider is coming here. Look at these two. Look at these two fans. He could be here as soon as tomorrow, but he has to check his schedule, of course. Can you believe it? We finally turned our goal into a reality. We'll spread the news of the concert via our island's broadcast system. I do hope you'll be in attendance. You simply must hear KK play. Yes, yes, you must. Yay! Does that mean I can terraform now? I don't think so, right? You have to like wait till he actually does the concert. Be pretty cool though. Don't think KK would have cared about your flowers. <laughs> I don't see why he cares. Tomorrow when KK comes after the concert. Okay. Emily, how's it going? Sweet. I see you got three stars in your island. I did. It was the nice branch. That did. I think it was. I think it was all thanks to the nice branch. We did it. We got three stars. We got Bob. That's fantastic. Are you going to time travel? Oh, no, no, no. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and let time pass at normal speed. I want storage. I'm so tired of my inventory, I swear. I still have these five saplings for no reason now. How much storage do we have after all the decorating we did? We have three, we have 10 slots. We have 10 slots left out of 320 slots. It performs his image if he performs on a dusty island. Uh, he doesn't leave the plaza. So, how does the first concert work? Do I have to wait until evening, or as soon as, like, tomorrow when I see him, I can go, like, have him play me a, a ditty? Is that how that works? I don't know. I'm pretty excited, though. He shows up as soon as you sign in. Yeah, he's always there on, like, Saturdays, for example, but he doesn't play you a song until later in the day. How long did it take you to get three stars? I have my island three stars once I got all the plots filled. So all of our plots are not filled. Um, but it, it, you know, it didn't take us super long. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
We have eight villagers right now. Um, cool. All right. You're teleported to the plaza when you start. Oh, when you open, you plays. Okay, cool. So here's my plan. Here's the master plan, okay? Um, we're going to be going live tomorrow earlier than normal, probably. I'm going to try and start around maybe 10.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern time, which should give us enough time to sell the turnips. Do the Kika concert and sell the turnips, basically. And then we're going to continue... You know, I want to I want to unlock any terraforming it lets me unlock, and I want to start like building out our entrance a little bit because I want to prepare for market day Sunday. Uh, that's that's what we need to do. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna raid Artsy Gamer, who's also playing, I believe, hard mode. Yes, also doing some Animal Crossing hard mode, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna set this up right now, so when the stream ends, it'll automatically bounce you guys over there. Go ahead when you get there, and. Uh, just you could just say crossing minute raid. We'll keep it nice and simple. Um, so tell Artsy hi for me, and yeah, it's gonna be great. I hope to see you guys over there. Have a great rest of your uh, your evening. Have a good weekend. I will see you tomorrow, uh, bright and early. Fail. <laughs> Dan, Dan, you're so funny every time you talk. You really quack me up. I'm already doing hard mode. Is that not hard enough? He started a new island. The people named it Canyon Duck. Really seems like he's trying. Collecting a whole bunch of stuff. These puns, they have him crying. I mean, they are just really rough. And he's been doing hard mode. He thought he had it hard enough. Peekaboo, a duck's favorite game. Uh, Canyon Duck is the island's name. So many puns, it's unbelievable. Brace yourself, but tell me how you're feeling though. I had to throw in a rap verse like a Drake. Let me know when you're done, I can wait. Let me guess how many more puns Dan can take. No, please. Let me keep going, don't waddle away. What language does a duck speak? Portuguese, how does a duck surf the internet with web feet? Hey, that's foul. But what else could it be? We're all flocking to the canyon that refuse to see. Will the duck cross a road? He's been crossing for a minute. I crack myself up. I promise we're almost finished. It's just pun after pun. I know you're all singing it. Would you believe me if I said I was winging it? Okay, that's a good yes. one. He started a new